Uh, Coach Cedric Tillman had a breakout season for you, obviously. Do you have any other young receivers that you think are capable of that for next year? Yeah, there's there's a handful of those guys that you know played some early in the year, played some throughout. Uh, guys we're excited about. Jimmy Callaway comes to mind. Um, he he's continued to progress and continue to show a level of want to to improve. Um, that would be one. Jalen Hyatt would be another that, that's got to continue to take steps for us. Uh, both those guys are, are uber, uber talented, and, and we're excited to see how they can take the next step. You know, Ramel Keaton's played quite a bit. The hope is Ramel can continue to grow and, and become that as we lose Javante and Bayless, really counting on all those guys to step up and take a major step. You know, second year in the system, you got to believe that as that comfort level comes, at that position especially, just because of how fast we're playing, the hope is those guys can all take a next step. And uh, we're, we're really counting on that. Adam in Austin. Coach Hopples talked about uh, the fact that you guys can go to recruits now and show them what this offense can do rather than just tell them or promise them. What have those conversations been like with recruits? What, how detailed have the conversations got about the offense and about their questions with it? Yeah, well, this time around you're showing your own film rather than, you know, a year ago showing UCF film and saying, hey, this is how you fit. Um, I give a lot of credit to the guys that that jumped in before they saw the product on the field. You know, there's <clears throat> there's a couple of guys, I don't know if you're particularly talking about skill guys, but, but old linemen, skill guys, running backs um, that that jumped in based on who we are and with somewhat of a promise of what the offense will look like. Um, you know, I, I think as much success statistically as we had, I think we've got monumental growth ahead of us here, um, starting with the bowl game, but, but really through the off season. So <clears throat> obviously you, you sell a vision when you first get to a place. Uh, this place is easy to sell, the tradition, the facilities, those that have come before them. Um, what a VFL is. There's some incredible examples playing the National Football League to show you that. Um, I think that part was always here in terms of being able to show your own film and saying, hey, you fit in like Cedric, like Cedric here on this film. You know, you fit in to replace Avelis. Um, or, hey, man, you're different than those guys. This is what we want to become. And, uh, and you're able to show your own film, uh, which I think has been huge through these official visits, being able to sit down and look at what a drive looks like, looking, seeing what an operation of play-to-play, -play, series to series, how we think about a game. Um, I think it's been, it's been super helpful to be able to sell the actual product. The, we always talk about having videotape evidence. Now you have videotape evidence of what it looks like. You mentioned some of those younger wide receivers. Who are some other younger players on the offense, maybe offensive line, that have caught your eye that you think you know can really take a step between now and, and the end of spring practice next year? And then to have a good portion of this offense back for a second year, starting with Hendon, how big is that to kind of take that step? Yeah, you know, to be honest with you, those quarterbacks through through what I guess four practices now, I feel like have taken a huge step. It's like they've had a, a little bit of time off, and both Hendon and Joe have practiced extremely well. Um, you know, you, you hope both of them. I think that's where it starts. You hope both of those guys continue to progress. Year two in a system for a quarterback should be used the word monumental earlier, and it could be really, really special if those two keep progressing like they are. Um, other positions, you know, like Jalen Wright taking another step, Laneith Whitehead at, at running back. Both those guys have, have practiced extremely well. We've seen the best version of Jabari, a healthy Jabari, these last couple of weeks. Uh, that's been awesome to see. Um, we talked about Jimmy Callaway, Jalen Hyatt. Both those guys have practiced extremely well. Jimmy Holiday has practiced well. Um, trying to think up front really just got to continue to grow with all those young guys. Um, Dane Davis continuing to gain confidence in who he is. J.J. Crawford, uh, seen a really good four practices out of J.J. I think it's it's interesting when you let guys rest up a little bit. It feels a little bit like spring ball in terms of guys are fresh. Guys are running around really fast. Base offense, we're literally day one of spring ball is all we're practicing. Um, so the guys can play fast because they're not thinking. That's really more than anything. Um, I know I'm kind of veering off the question, but more than anything, how fast we play 
the the ability to see it or hear it, recognize it, see a defense, see what it looks like, and be able to play and react fast, just as much as anything else we do, that's monumental for our offense, for the guys within the system. I think in year two, the less guys are thinking, the faster they can play. I think we, we can take a ginormous step just as a whole. You, you kind of touched on him a little bit, just having him come back, how much easier does that make things for you guys over the next few months? And, and what can he do coming back? Where, where can he improve as a quarterback? Yeah, that was a um, that was a, a an awesome two week conversation and, and uh, um, in a lot of ways an early Christmas present for all of us to to get a veteran guy to come back. I think as much as anything gratifying that he wants to be here, gratifying that he wants to lead the offense. Um, Man, I'm so proud of what he's done and, and, and just the next step that he can take. I think I know I sound like a broken record, but recognition within the offense, being able to line up, see it, play really, really fast. Um, playing quarterback is all about decision-making, timing, ball placement. And with Hendon, the element of what he can do with his legs, we got to continue to grow. You know, we didn't come into the season expecting that to be what we were doing. Um, obviously, it's been an added bonus. He's gotten out of gotten us out of a lot of things he makes it easier on third down where you can call a drop back pass and and he'll he'll make you right and save your butt a couple of times I, i've said thank you several times to him on that um but his growth just again understanding what we do how we do it i think there's a whole nother evolution to what we do in terms of formational differences um turns you, you've seen us grow offensively as the years gone on we've we've looked different at times continuing to add that to his plate i think the more you change the pictures with how fast we play the harder it is especially at that spot uh we've been able to do that as we've gone so the answer to your question is he's going to give us the ability to be more multiple as he continues to develop he's been uber efficient for a year um if he can continue that efficiency and continue to grow i think for us, it, the element of him being able to run the ball frees up so many things in the pass game. You've got to account for him running the football, which in theory creates a little bit more single high coverage, which in theory allows you to throw it better. Um, so just having him back there and knowing going into spring ball what you have, I think makes it so much easier as the coordinator to figure out as you're, even as you're installing in spring, that's the guy. You build it around him. And, again, I'm not discounting Joe's growth either because for him, second year, you got to remember he got here in June. His growth for another year is going to be monumental for us to have success. Just kind of as a follow-up to, to what you're talking about there, as a coordinator, how different is it when you do your off-season study and you look at everything yourself and others and you go, this is who we are, whereas – you spent last year going, okay, let's try to make it work with whoever we what end are up we? being there. What are we? Yeah. How, how different for you will this offseason be to kind of build into year two with the identity already established? Yeah, I, I'm really, really fascinated to go into into June and in a lot of ways already started it flying around all over the country these last two weeks. Um, like going out and researching different ways to continue to evolve, right? The, you got to continue to change as defenses figure out, as court, defense corners figure out what you do, how you do it. you got to continue to evolve and put wrinkles in. Um, but it'll – I don't know that it'll make it easier. It'll certainly make it clearer for us what we can do. Again, the quarterback run element, that wasn't what we were going into the season thinking. Um, you know, we, we knew we had – we had a little bit of deficiency in other spots, so that became a little bit of an out. You don't want to run the quarterback as much as we did at times, uh, but having that ability, I think, will change what we are. Uh, I think also just being able to sit down and reflect on it a little bit here, having a little bit of time on on flights these last couple of weeks, and as we get into January, you know, you get into the grind of a season. You sometimes you're such a tight schedule you got six days to prepare you don't always have time to look back and say man like 
this this was really good, this was really bad, or man, I'm really screwing this up. Now that you've you're gonna have some time to go back and really reflect on what you've act like, really actually process your thoughts rather than five hours of sleep and 18 Red Bulls in a day. You can actually decompress a little bit, figure out what's been good, what hasn't. Um, but I think it'll be huge to understand. Instead of, like like you said, instead of going into it a little bit blind, you're going into it with a really, really clear and concise plan of, of who the guys are and how you can grow. I think in January, once these new guys get here and as we continue to work through uh, transfers and all that part of it, I think after, even in the summer, after spring, it'll still continue to evolve in terms of personnel. So, But at least you know your key cogs to the whole deal, and, and you can continue to try to evolve. That's the word, I guess, for me, is how can we keep evolving the system? I feel like, like we've put a good product out there. At the end of the day, how can we put an elite product out there? One personnel wise, two schematically, how can we continue to change? And for us, I think it's being more multiple in what we do. And again, in year two, guys have a baseline of the system, guys have something to divert to. You got to remember, like, guys, every time you come in with something new, they've always reflected to, well, I kind of know that, I'm going to build on it through that. Now they have a year worth of video specifically of themselves doing it. Now it's, man, I'm going to. I'm going to refer to, okay, we did it like this. This is how we want to change it. I think just in the thought process, it makes it a lot easier. Thank you. Coach has a staff meeting, so he's got to go. Yeah, I'm excited. I'd rather be here with y'all. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Hey, thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.